Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds expansion. Uh, we're still in Banur, in the cut, which uh, is overrun by these towers, which seem to, uh, well, boost the power of machines nearby, and according to Naltuk over here, it also heals them. Seems like we're pretty much only having to deal with a long lag over there. And a scrapper, which seemed to be pretty low level for now. Just gonna try and go down. This place is pretty lit, so I don't know how effective my stealth abilities are gonna be here. Oh, it's taking out my shield as well. That is interesting. So there we have two scrappers, and the long lag is behind me, it shouldn't be able to see me. It seems like every pulse is taking out my shields. By that pulse from the tower. So that kinda fucks with my ability to do anything here. If I just override it from over here, will that be enough? Should have enough time to act on it. There we go. Control post overridden. Kill the machines, okay. I think I can just critical hit this one. That wasn't a warning. Okay. They haven't seen me yet. There we go, into the long lag. I think if I just... Healing, healing. Jesus Christ, these guys are aggressive. Ah, oh, I just jumped into that. Where the hell is he? Does he keep coming from? Oh God, just get off. Just need to kill that scrapper first. They have range! And down. There we go. Uh, I don't know what that did, the overriding of those machines. Um, which makes this harder to deal with, of course. I'm just going to have to leave the coils, because my inventory is completely full. Okay, now, Duke, now you want to talk to me or not? I'm still an asshole. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you, after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the Ice Rasps. You'll have to walk the Shaman's Path to get there. Sounds You'll know like you've a reached plan? the end when you come to a shrine. A great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Okay, then. Seems like the shamans can take care of themselves as well, then, if they 
can manage to get up there. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Okay then. And what do you do as Aurea's apprentice? Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Okay. And were you along with the expedition not uh, at Thunder's Drum? Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. Huh, interesting. They were arguing about something. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up. Somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. Yeah, it seems like they've been trying to access one of the vaults. All right. But uh, fail. Ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Uh, let's call a mount. There comes something. Yeah. Hello. A charger will uh, suit me a uh, very nicely. And let's just head towards the ice rasps. Not the best of names, if I'm honest. But, uh, see you guys in a second. So the Shaman's Path already begins somewhere over here. And I can still use the Charger to get up there. <coughs> it seems like there's some kind of bunker over there. If I would get uh, a second to stop here, I'm just gonna dismount. And take a look around so looks like those are remnants of a highway and that's that looks like a bunker or a dam or some something like that the volcano we're still we're going away from the volcano right now thunder's drum so let's do the last few uh, feet on foot and see if we can't uh, find anything here ooh this looks like uh, the place yeah indeed it does looks like a blue gleam all right is that or are those just different forms of those lanthus we've been seeing let's just quick save over here just in case anything happens it is lovely though I'm pretty far up the shaman's path must be around here somewhere this must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Oh. Huh. They are... They're like spotlights. Maybe they are. They probably use the eye of a machine as a spotlight here. Not sure how it's getting its energy, but... I can activate it. Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. So let's just uh, do that then. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. Anything I can find here? Because there's a few there's side a areas. Out. Some gear, though. Thank you. Always useful. So we need to head further into the caves. Obviously. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound. If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Aha, indeed they can. Yep, focus yep. can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. We need to go to the right, which is of course... Aha. Uh -huh. So this is where I need to go then. Uh, going higher. 
It is nice to see because we haven't really seen ice caves like these before in the game. Going down. Or at least the blue lights are giving it something special. Here we go, ritualistic marker. Oh. Okay, that way then. Ah. Oh, oh, I thought the lamp was uh, a gone. That way, but it's just... Ah, it's pointing to the right. And there's another wind chime. But there's one over there as well, which it... Huh, but it's up there, so I'm supposing I need to go here first. And that might lead me further. There we go. Not this way. But then, where? Wait, but there's a I winch. See. Aha! Up. Indeed. <coughs> ah, there we go. Didn't jump far enough the first time. Okay, so we went up. And now. That doesn't sound good. I can hear it already, but I can't really see it. Stalkers. Better be careful. Aha. Uh -huh. Will I lure them by activating this? Okay. Through here. Ah, yes indeed. Maybe I should mark you. Since you can go invisible. Slowly moving forward. This is uncomfortable. Okay, why the sudden change in music? I'm gonna take the loot over here. After I grab this loot. There we go. A health boost potion. Should actually drink one of these. Because I'm almost out of uh, health to get it up a bit. Okay, let's activate this one. Oh god. Oh god. Out of this cave. Oh wow! What? That was one hit? Well that was ridiculous. I am gonna put some uh, blasts. Gotta get past the stars. One way or another. Oh wow. Um Come on, buddy. Oh, God. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Um, I'm, I'm gonna... Go over here? Okay, Blast seems to work, which is interesting. Wow, that was ridiculous the first time around. Yeah, I'm full health, even though I almost lost all my health. Oh! Oh god. Maybe f shock? Oh no, it doesn't care about shock. Okay, so now... Oh 
Oh wow. And hit him in the face. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to uh, start using my uh, elemental weapons a bit more. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna check out my weapons for a second. So I've equipped the blast sling since explosion seems to work. Seem to work so well. Um, blast bomb, proximity bomb, or sticky bomb. Probably gonna start off with those. Luckily, I have a lot of uh, materials ready. Let's keep the blast sling ready for now. Because it seems like I can do with that some damage with that. Echo shells, thank you. But now... Where do I need to go? Okay, right over there. Okay, that's a trip mine. From the stalkers. Yeah, I don't know how shamans just deal with those stalkers then, because that's a bit ridiculous. So I'm guessing I need to climb up higher then. Yeah, they definitely did beef up the enemies to a uh, ridiculous Found degree. Indeed. So what's next on this path? Well, I don't know. We still have ways to lead the way over here. And there we go. Over there. Okay. We just need to climb up here or just follow the bridge probably. Follow the path. We do have a lovely side over the the cut here. Ooh, that gave us a lot. Does this bridge work? It looks like it needs to fill up with water before I can cross. And there we go. Whoa, that that took me to the skies. Let's activate this one. Around the bend we go. Now. Yep. And then the death ride. There we go. Now how do I cross this one? Um I'm gonna assume I need to shoot it. Or wait wait. Down then up. Um Down it is. Okay, so I can drop down onto this, yeah, take the ladder down, okay, medicinal stuff to fill me up completely, because that's 50% of my health bar per item I pick up, ooh, what's that, what's this? Pigment Light Oxide. Huh. Aha. More collectibles. Great. And yes, that was a bit of resentment in my voice there. I do admit that. I'm not that big of a fan of collectibles. Because it was the weakest part of this game. Which took me a while to get everything uh, the for the Platinum the Trophy. Position. Okay. Easy. Okay. The bridge is filling up. So now... Oh god! Ooh, that was close. So that's good! Oh god! Jesus. Oh no! I died. So let's try this again. Going down and then going up and... Ah, I just needed to walk forward. That was confusing as hell. Health bar is filled up, so no biggie there. Let's activate the next marker. Okay. Let's cross the rough waters down here. Add a cross again. And that seems to... Yeah, there it goes. Filling up because of the waterfall and then just hurry along and jump. Oh, Jesus Christ, that went down fast. Seems like we're getting closer. 
Don't wanna, don't wanna celebrate this too soon, of course. Whoop. Oh, cinematic. Hi. Come on, Eloy, just pull yourself up. What the fuck was that? Is that a, a bear or something like that? Yeah, that looks like a bear, all right. I wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. No, it doesn't look friendly. Do I need to fight that thing in a second? I feel like I'm gonna have to. Well, this looks ominous. Into the ravine we go. On the other side, it does look like we're heading in the right direction. What the f... Okay. Ah, oh, there goes my shield again. That's not gonna be nice. So let's have the shield uh, ready. Uh, the health potions. What the hell am I talking about? Quick save. Got too much already. Okay. Oh, it's gonna drop me right into a fight, isn't it? Hello? Oh. Yeah. Definitely a bear. Definitely a bear. Ooh. Let's try to stay in the frost claw. There it is. If I stay in stealth. There's not much stealth to go around. I think if I go... Yeah, okay. It's moving in that direction again. Better shut it down for good. Can't go up to the sides. So the bear is over there. That's a ledge I can climb. Oh, don't climb up yet. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna wait until it turns around again. Oh god! I guess we're doing this, big boy. Um, I'm gonna jump down. Yeah. Oh god! No, never mind. Over right, over right, over right, over right. I'm gonna get smacked in the face there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that went through my shield. Oh, no, I don't have a shield. Come on, give me the time, give me the time, give me the time, give me the time. Ah. Nope, definitely not the time. Um. I don't know how to fight these, this thing. This seems to work. Oh god. Oh, it's frozen, it's frozen. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Well, that should take away... Oh, it's stunned. It's stunned. Nah, I'm not gonna get there. Okay, never mind. Seems like I did quite a bit of damage with the blast launcher there. Okay. Yeah, you can be stunned all do you want, buddy. I'm gonna just put a, a few traps between you and me. 
Um. Yeah, he didn't care. Yeah, okay, that was a hit. That was a direct hit. Come on. And then the final one in the face. Okay, there we go. Frostclaw down. down. Now back to finding a rail. Spear damage Please. coil. I've got to climb. Spear damage coil. Um can I modify my spear? Um doesn't seem like it. Look like I could, but Apparently not. So, blast, blast sling, definitely the way to go. I'm gonna have to start stocking up on uh, blaze to have this going. Some medicinal stuff, supplies, thank you. And then up here. I'm guessing that was kind of a little uh, mini boss before we uh, get to the shrine. Go climbing up because it didn't really care about my arrows at first. Might have been because of the tower. Here we go. Slow motion for nothing. Ooh, this looks bright. Oh, and there's a uh, thunder's drum again. It looks quite a ways off, actually. This area is bigger than you would think, if you just see it on the map. There's a lot of places to go. Oh, that's uh, another bunker. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Yeah, indeed. Blue gleam. Sparkles. Take. I can see why it's worth a lot. Trade it to specialized merchants for extremely powerful weapons and armor. Sounds like a. Sounds like a plan. Can I take more? I mean, just hit. What am I actually? Oh, it's a dead storm bird. Yeah, because this is the beak. Because Naltuk was talking about blue gleam growing on dead machines. Another supply crate. Can't carry more. Don't worry about it, Aloy. Said you have plenty. The into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. So they made a shrine out of a satellite dish. That is interesting. Um, hello? Is there a campfire up here somewhere? Because I haven't seen one lately. And I do want to save it at this at some door. point. Maybe Aurea is inside. Huh. Hello? Enter Orea's retreat. Hmm. This looks like a shrine, all right. Well, a shrine to them. Firebreak upgrades. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed. Okay then. So we're definitely back in some old research facility. Hello? Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Good question. Do I need to go look for power cells again? Because I, I would think they won't hide themselves too far inside of this area. What the hell is this place? Looks like we're in a, a large open area. There's another audio diary. Supply snafu. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. 
try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Okay. Seems like it was uh threatening some people. Why is there a tunnel here? What is this all about? OMG Blevins. Director of security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Okay. Did that just stop on me there? Oh, it did just I stop even there. Without triggering his control issues. Personal log. If Blevins reconfigures the pattern on the lambent orbicular door access one more time, I'm going to vomit all over it. Sure, I don't want some gift shop employee rooting around in the firebreak facility, but these measures aren't about security, they're about control. I wonder if Blevins gets in early to watch everybody try to solve the new pattern perched over his little camera array in his big boy office. What a bridge troll. You'd think that a fraction of his fancy drone budget could go towards buying him some classier body spray. God help me and Kenny if he ever finds out about us. So... Anita was having a relationship with Kenny and their boss, I assume. Blevins was a not was a real tyrant at work. I'm just gonna check if there's anything. So we read that one from Kevin himself. No, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny himself. And then in the, the message from Blevins, there's also a message text. Let me begin by spelling out disaster for you. A destructive event causing a level of disturbance unmanageable via the application of ordinary resources. What you have given us is distinctly ordinary. Dummies, version, give me what I need or, I'll, or you'll be on an autocar to lay off city quicker than you can say code red. The list, one more time. 3000 MREs, 30 military grade flashlights, portable water pumps, fungicide, hydraulic jacks, drone, it looks like most of... Uh, yeah, just resources to make drones. Interesting. Then we have this thing over here. The door again from Blevins. Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art, ultra-secure and absolutely necessary lambent orbicular door access. So there's the slow version again. The thingy in the middle is the source node. Turn it on. Yeah, I know. Hard, right? Then you've got to turn the other node so that the data streams containing your credentials gets back to the source. Some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect data, so avoid those. Shouldn't be too tough because, you know, they're red, like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were taught this in preschool, but with this cro crowd, who knows? Anyway, that's it. Get the data stream back to the source and the door opens. It's really not that tough, but if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while you give it a try. Actually, scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. Okay. So is this... Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Okay. Um... I should probably override the source note as a start. I don't know what you did, just did. What am I supposed to do with these lights? So, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, turn clockwise. So that, changing the flow of light. There we go. And then turn this one clockwise as well. And then we need just need to turn this one counterclockwise. All right. Let's see if the door's open. What door did I just open? Did I open a door? Or was this all part of the quest that I'm doing at the moment? Might be. Let's go check out if that door is open now. Back into the tunnel. Looping back around. And that should get us back to whatever door... They were talking about door. That's probably the big door that I just opened. Yeah, so I probably just should have uh, checked out the door first and then it would have pointed us in this direction. Just gonna quickly check out everything here. 
see if there are any more audio diaries or fragments to see if we can find out what is going on here. Seems like there's nothing here. Let's check out the door. Open it up. There we go. Hello? Seems to be... Oh no, this is an elevator shaft. Okay. Um, you know what? Before we continue any further, I'm gonna take a little break because uh, I've been going long for a while already. So uh, thank you guys obviously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna keep uh, climbing this elevator shaft and see if we can find Aurea. So uh, thanks again, and obviously for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.